take you through Surya Namaskar A. If that sounds like something fancy and complicated, don't worry. It's just Sanskrit for sun salutation A. If you are new to yoga or just new to vinyasa yoga, which is what Megan and I teach here at Bodylift Fitness. So if you come to one of our classes, it's great to kind of understand these poses before you come. It's not necessary. We kind of explain what you're doing, but this is a great way to introduce you to it. So we're going to start. Let's have Megan come to the top of the mat. She's going to come to mountain pose. So in this mountain pose, she's going to let her feet sink down into the mat. And imagine those feet have four corners. If you can imagine one beneath the big toe, one beneath the little toe, one in the inner heel, one in the outer heel, and those corners press down into the floor evenly. As the feet press down, she's going to start to lift up through the arches of her feet. This is going to activate her lower legs. And then she'll lift her kneecaps, which engages the, quad, the, the, the quadriceps, the fronts of her legs. It's important to make sure that the pelvis is neutral in your mountain pose. And so you want to make sure that the pelvis is not tilting forward or tilting back. It's nice and neutral. And to accomplish this, feet press down, you start to lift up, and you're going to take these hip points right here and just start to slide them up a little. You'll notice this activates your belly. And so as the core engages, you can lift up through the shoulders, through the neck, through the top of the head, and get really tall and strong. Make sure that your ribs are not flaring out. Those low ribs keep pulling in, and the hip hip points keep lifting up. From your mountain pose, inhale, start to take your arms overhead. Exhale, we're going to come to a forward fold, and this is really important. So notice Megan's bent knees, and she's going to start here with her hands on her thighs. By having the hands on the thighs and the knees bent, she is supporting her low back, and that's very, very important. Forward folding can be very hard on your lumbar spine, and we have to make sure that stays stable. So notice her nice long spine here. This may be where your forward fold needs to stay. That's okay. Now, Megan has a little more flexibility in her hamstrings, and so she's gonna come down a little bit lower. Notice this spine stays straight. Megan, I'm gonna ask you to round your spine incorrectly. So you see this hump in her thoracic spine? You don't want this. This pulls on the low back. So straighten it back out. This is what you want to keep in your forward fold. And so maybe you need to bend the knees more and more and more. That's okay. This is a great forward fold. Now, with an inhale, Megan is going to come to a halfway lift. She takes her hands to her shins. Notice the knees are still a little bit bent. They can stay bent. If it feels okay for the hamstrings, they can straighten. But the important thing is that the spine, again, stays straight. And that we don't get that rounding and humping in the spine. That needs to press out so that the spine is long. Maybe that means you have to come back up higher and bring the hands back up towards the thighs. That's okay. The spine is the important part. All right, so now with an exhale, Megan is gonna take both hands to the floor, bending the knees, and she's gonna start to walk her feet back, and we're gonna come to downward facing dog. Now. Downward facing dog is a very common yoga pose, but it's actually a fairly advanced pose for beginners. So if you find this one difficult, that's okay. We've got some modifications for you. So just like mountain pose, we started with the feet. We're gonna start with the hands as the foundation here for downward facing dog. Megan is gonna press those hands down into the floor just like she did the feet, imagining that the whole hand is pressing down. Not this part of the wrist, but the whole hand. And as it presses down and she pushes the floor away, the arms are long, the shoulders are wide, and notice once again she has this long, neutral spine. Now, if you have limited shoulder flexibility, it's very typical for the shoulders to come forward like this. So if this is where your down dog is, that's okay. You can bend your knees and start to press back a little bit further. 
trying to keep that long spine and keep that hump out of your back. As you gain shoulder flexibility and gain shoulder strength, you'll be able to get this more and more. If the hamstrings are tight, the same modification works. Bending the knees, and notice how Megan is on the balls of her feet. That's perfect. Now, maybe downward facing dog is not gonna work for you right now. That's okay because drop your knees, come to a tabletop position. Anytime we're in downward facing dog, you can come to tabletop and that's a great modification. You'll be able to move forward from where the, I may be instructing from downward facing dog. You can do it from tabletop. So we're gonna move from either your downward dog or your tabletop to a plank pose. So Megan's gonna come back to downward facing dog. She's gonna use an exhale. She's gonna pull her navel back towards her spine to activate her belly as she starts to roll forward and come to plank. When her shoulders are over her wrists, she's gone far enough. Notice here, shoulders are in line with hips. Belly is really strong. Maybe this is a little bit much. So here, drop the knees. This is a little different than tabletop because notice here are her hips and her knees are back here. So from this plank pose, we're gonna to start to lower down. You're gonna use an exhale so that you can use that belly action again of pulling the navel back towards the spine as you lower down. The elbows are squeezing in. Notice how that spine went down as one piece. That may take a little bit of practice, but you'll gain that strength in the shoulders and in the core and be able to lower down. Now, the next time Megan inhales, she is going to lift the front of her body the head, the shoulders. These shoulders kind of slide down the back. The elbows squeeze in. She's going to take the tops of her feet, press down into the floor. The pubic bone, or the hips, they press down as she lifts up. This low cobra pose is wonderful for strengthening the back muscles and getting your body ready for deeper back bends. Now, Megan can also gently Press down through her hands and lift up just a little bit higher. Still pulling those shoulders down the back, away from the ears, elbows still squeezing in. Now, lower this down. With an exhale, she's gonna press back either through tabletop to downward facing dog or she'll stay in tabletop. To come forward, she's just going to Walk her feet back up towards her hands. And she's back in that forward fold position. Nice bent knees, nice long spine. With an inhale, she comes back to the halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, you're going to bend the knees a lot. You're coming basically to a squat. And then you're going to use an exhale. You're going to use the belly, and then you're going to start to roll up the spine. Now. I'm going to make Megan do this again because it's very, very important to always have your knees bent any time you're rolling up the spine. So notice here, with the bent knees, as she starts to come up, she is taking her back into that rounding position that I've been telling her not to do. So because she's doing it here, and she's supposed to, the knees have got to stay bent as long as that spine is rounded like this. When she comes up, she can then inhale and sweep the arms back overhead. And then she's just going to bring them to her heart and close out the series of poses. Now, I'm going to take her through it, moving with the breath as you would in class. If this seems a little bit fast, don't worry. You can just start the video over and take it slow as many times as you need to. So, from your mountain pose, let the feet press, kneecaps lift. Notice that breath in your body, tall spine. Inhale, take the arms overhead. Exhale, come to your forward fold, bending the knees, long spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. And as you exhale, use that low belly and roll forward. Inhale in your plank. 
As you exhale, you're going to start to lower down. And with an inhale, come to that low cobra. With an exhale, pull the navel back towards the belly and come back either to tabletop or to downward facing dog. The next time you inhale, glance forward towards your thumbs. And with an exhale, you're going to bring your feet back to your thumbs, coming back to that forward fold position. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees deeply. Exhale, press to the feet. Look at that low belly starting to rise as you straighten up. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And you've done it. Surya Namaskar.